children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for the message of holiness that God has put in the earth for today. I feel good. I feel good tonight. You may be seated. To know I'm a part of something so wonderful. My God, I feel like jumping. Glory to God, I feel good tonight. Thanking God always for His excellency. His mercy and His grace towards us. That we are able to gather here in 2023. Living a life of holiness amongst the chaos and the chaotic behavior of the world and how they have drifted away from God far left. We still have truth in the earth. Amen. Jesus Christ said upon this rock, he's going to build his church. And of a truth, we know we're in the church of Jesus Christ. And I'm so grateful. Thank God always for the holy prophets and the holy apostles. And of a truth, we are grateful to have an apostle in our time that we are grateful to God for. Thank God for the work that God has been doing in Texas. After you heard the preaching of the word and the truth of God, you came and you're here and we're grateful to God for all of you. Thank God for Brother Minister Williams and all the other ministers that are here and to all of you and all of you that are visiting for the first time, we want to greet you in the most precious name of Jesus Christ. We thank God so far for what has been happening. Yesterday the message came then of a truth. It definitely terrorized the devil out of us. And I certainly make us have to re-evaluate, reassess, retrospect, introspect, and inspect. See where we are in God to make sure we're on the straight path. Uh, pastor used the word abort. Uh, most military would have known that word. When something is not going right, they have to retrieve from that mission. And I thank God that we had retrieved from falsehood. Thank God for that. We retrieved from falsehood because it was a failed mission. And we thank God he did not let the mission be successful or it would be lost. So it's good that the mission was aborted. And uh, the message last night spoke about how we have to decrease. We want to decrease so much that there is nothing left of you. I want to decrease that when you look at me, all you can see is Jesus' work, not my work. So we are grateful for the message on last night. And certainly we had to search ourselves individually. What can I say about the Texas Masquad? Thank God for them. Amen. Now, before we have the word brought forth by Pastor Jennings, we're going to ask a few ministers to give a brief greetings. Uh, we have with us, and I'm going to call you in this order, Minister Mitchell. And then after that is uh, Minister Detroit Dolphus, if I may. Daryl, sorry. And then we're going to have uh, Deacon Carl McAllister to come in that order. Thank you. Hallelujah, saints. Once again, we thank the Lord Jesus Christ for giving us the opportunity to meet here once again through his mercy. He called us all to be here today. He pricked our hearts. We thank you for the opportunity you've given us, Lord Jesus, to give you all the glory, honor, and praises that you so deserve, Lord. We thank you for thinking enough of us. You've sent your holy prophets of old, your holy apostles of old, our president, apostle, apostle Gino Genesis, and all the ministers who continue to labor in gospel truth. We are so grateful for you allowing us to be here today. All I can say today is, wow, look at all the people here today. Come and hear the message of the truth. Thank you, Lord. You pricked our heart. We could have been anywhere today, but you've chosen us to be here. Thank you, Lord. We are so grateful. We just can't thank you enough, Lord Jesus. Thank you for giving me strength to be here today. 
I have not been feeling well, but I feel good enough to be here today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Keep praying for me and my family, and I pray for you and yours. Thank you. Amen. Greetings to my brothers and sisters today. Amen. To giving praises to God, to the apostles, prophet of old, to our current apostle, uh, our teacher, leader, and guide, Pastor Gina, Gina, uh, to uh, Brother William, Gino, Gina, God bless you, man. And to uh, Brother Wynn. It's truly a blessing to be here. I'm just excited. Amen. I'm glad to know I serve one God. And I can read it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the way, his name is Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. My background is Baptist, Pentecostal. Can't find it nowhere in the Bible. Right. Right. Hallelujah. Right. But I'm glad today to know my religion is holy. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For he says, be ye holy, for I am holy. Amen. And I'm just so happy to be here once again. So happy to see my mother go down in the name of Jesus Christ on last night. Amen. Amen. I have a testimony, but it'd be too long to share today. But I know God will make a way that I'll be able to share next time. Amen. But I can't say how much I am so happy to be a part of this church. I'm so happy to be under Pastor Gino. Amen. The words that he have, I've learned so much. Long as I've been in church, my dad was a pastor. Amen. And I have learned so much. Been through a lot at a young age. But I've learned so much listening to this man preach. I, you know, my wife would call me, I haven't heard from you today. What, what, what's going on? I say, baby, I'm sorry. I've been listening to Pastor Chino. <laughs> And I always get his name kind of mixed up for some reason. I don't know. I get used to it, how to say it. But I, I would listen to him all day while I'm driving. I drive 18 wheelers. And I'd, I'd be driving and listen. My mom be calling me, Dad, you all right? I haven't heard from him today. I said, Mom, I'm sorry. I've been listening to this preacher. <laughs> I tell you, he blesses me so much. And I just truly thank God. I thank God for, once again, Brother Went. I've been, uh, I would pastor at my church. We end up, I'm, I don't mean to be this long. But if I can share this, just, just a little bit of this. I've been pastoring a church, my dad's church, for 16 years. He's, he's gone. And I've been pastoring the church for 16 years. And uh, right before I, I started coming to Pastor Wint, Brother Wentz's church, uh, they cut the wires on my church. Didn't have no power, so I ended up having to have church at my home. So what I would do, would have, I would have church at home and then rush over to, uh, to the temple. But I truly thank God that he made a way for me to be alone with the brothers and sisters in Christ. And I just want to ask that you just keep me in your prayers, amen, as I pray for you. God bless you. Amen. Greetings, brothers and sisters. I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for allowing us to be here and make it to see Pastor Gino Jennings, Apostle P Gino Jennings, here in Texas Amen. to bring holiness message Amen. unto a people that is willing to leave false churches and to abort bad seed, bad doctrines, and to listen to the truth of God as it is read and is written and read to you, and you can receive the truth. I'm a former deacon of the PAW. It's disgraceful what I've witnessed. All of that Pastor Gino Jennings has said is true. What he said about the PAW is true. And so much more that you don't even know. And I'm here today and I'm telling you, you brothers that I mentioned that I text, you got my text. You come out here, you listen to Pastor Gino Jennings. I know you're watching. I know you're going to watch when you get out of church. I know that you study. I know that you listen to him. I know that you learn from him. And by default, that makes you his teacher. That makes you his student. 
And he's your apostle. You come on out at 5 o'clock. I know you're in service now. You come on out. Don't, don't let me make, start naming names. My pastor is a former uh, head elder of the Southern District. It's so glad to know the truth of God is here. All those churches that left the PAW during the the COVID, they left because they wasn't getting no help. Roofs are falling in, plumbing is busted, and all the PAWs worried about is money going up. Bishops coming up in Rolls Royces and Bentleys and costly apparel. I wonder where the money is going. I think we know. They say, oh, it's going to Ukraine. Well, I can't see Ukraine. <laughs> I see Texas. I see the Southern District. In my short time with the truth of God, with the first church, I've never seen so much order and discipline. <laughs> never seen so much. Like, what is this? I'm used to just people doing what they want to do. And, you, know, you get up there, you, you go ahead and preach. Oh, but I'm pregnant. Yeah. Oh, I go up there and you preach. Oh, but I'm living together, not married. When I heard that, I'm like, what? When did we start doing that? I mean, as Apostle says, this was written way before he was born. How are you going to deny Paul what he said? Oh, oh, oh we're going to continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. Well, why are you ignoring it? Why are you ignore it? Oh, you quick to read the part where it says, let all things be done decently and in order. Well, how about the rest of the chapter? How about the rest of the chapter? You pick and choose. I choose the truth of God. Pray much for me and my family. We, we do thank God for those pleasantries from the ministers. Certainly, uh, we were encouraged by the words that came from them. Uh, you know, this thing is real, you know. It, it's, it's real. And uh, we're so thankful to God for what we're in. Uh, you know, if you ever talk to Pastor Jesus 101, you have to shake your head and say, this man is a real man. I talked to him today, and I got I to think to myself, I said, this man is a real man. He's from the hood, and he don't hide it. <laughs> and he lets you know the truth, but he doesn't try to be like one of those, uh, what do you call them, the leaders that change color? Chameleon. Chameleon. So we thank God for the realness that God has put in the man of God. And now we're embarking on this journey. I'm thankful for holiness. Uh, my family and I are truly blessed to be here. We have two children and my wife and I are going to celebrate our 10th anniversary on, on Thursday. And uh, I'm thankful that it's in holiness. So you pray my strength that I will be humble and obedient and follow leadership. All of us here know this is the truth. If you don't know, you'll know soon enough. Now, if you, two years from now, or a month from now, sort to of believe something else, you know you're deceived, right? Because now you know the truth. Stay with God. Stay in the truth. And if you stay with God and stay in the truth, you have a chance to make the first resurrection. Uh, one quickly announcement before I go. Uh, next week, Sunday, we normally have service in San Antonio and Dallas. That service is canceled. We'll be there May the 28th. If you don't have the information, it'll be on the church website where we're going to be. Uh, but next week is canceled because we have a new project, as pastors talked about yesterday. And uh, he told me that he need all the brothers and sisters come in working clothes. 
So when you come Saturday, don't come in no long, well, long skirt, yes, but no heels. <laughs> Amen? Long skirt, but no heels. Thank God that didn't come out. And uh, brothers, let's come dress ready to work. At this time, we ask that you put your phone on vibrate or do not disturb. And please sit attentively. Get your minds right as we get prepared for the word. Please help me welcome to the podium the apostle, our pastor, Junior Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we bear witness there is only one true living God. He have no partners, he have no associates, and he have no rivals, and by all means, God doesn't have no equals. He is God alone. He alone have made the heavens and the earth by his power and that it's established the world by his wisdom and stretch forth the heavens by his understanding. We are indebted to him for being merciful to all of us. Most of all, we thank him for the way of holiness that is clearly outlined in the scriptures of truth to all of our ministers and the guests that are here, we thank God for all of you. To you that are watching, as I said last night, we are coming live from San Antonio, Texas. And we are grateful. Last night, 45 was baptized. In the name of the Lord Jesus. <clears throat> we have a lot to thank God for. And please remember all the brothers and sisters of Houston. We'll be in Freeport, Texas, this Saturday coming, working at the new temple. We hope all of you be there so we can start getting things moving. The quicker we get in there and get things done right, the quicker we can get that place dedicated. I have so many building projects on the table at one time. <clears throat> not just headquarters, but building projects in many parts of America and in the foreign countries, which keep me flying from here to there even sometime through the week. And my schedule is extremely busy. So <clears throat> after we leave uh, the Freeport, Texas area this weekend, all of you that are watching in the Portsmouth, Virginia area, God willing, uh, hmm, I believe it's the Saturday after Freeport. I think that's the 13th. We will be at the new temple in Portsmouth, Virginia. The temple is complete. I will be there to kind of do all the finishing touches and whatnot. We have some things that our truck drivers will be hauling from Philadelphia down to the Portsmouth, Virginia Temple. You brothers be there with us. I will be there that Saturday, God willing, at 11 o'clock. We can start putting the pews back in place, properly spaced, put all our office furniture in place, and get everything ready so I can set a date for dedication. Uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, God willing, we'll be flying up there to look over the new work that's being done there. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, God willing, I'll be flying there to look over the building project there. Memphis, Tennessee, God willing, I'll be in your area for a necessary church business meeting. Del Mar, Delaware, that was the temple that burnt to the ground, and I was glad. <laughs> yes, I was glad. Amen. I was thinking about rebuilding and wondering how I was going to do it, and, well, the fire certainly rectified that. 
burnt the church down. It was an old, in fact, very old, one of them old wooden churches, bought over 30 something years ago. And uh, we have still the original deeds. It was originated from 18 something, with the type of writing like similar to those that wrote the Constitution of the United States. So you know it's old, but it burnt down. I'm glad nobody was hurt. So the insurance done paid us off, and we got the balance of that this week. So either I will build or buy, whatever comes first, whatever comes within the manage of money. Because I'm the type of person I believe in saving for the church. Even if we have the money to do something, I love to try to save. I don't believe in spending because you have it. We try to stretch it as far as we can. So uh, we don't have enough time in a year for me to go the places that I have to go. God willing, uh, we'll be dedicating this year our new Johannesburg, South Africa temple. Amen. We thank God for that. The Johannesburg South African temple is complete. All we have to do is put the new church sign on it and uh, call it a day. So God willing, we'll be dedicating that this year. We have a beautiful sized congregation also uh, in Cape Town, as well as so many other parts of Africa. We, God willing, will be in Malawi, Mozambique, Burundi, and so many other places throughout the continent of Africa. Uh, we will be, God willing, in Alaska this year. Amen. The weather, by the time we get there, should be good and warm. <laughs> we have a beautiful size following there in Alaska. God have opened up the doors for the truth of God. And to the Bible says, your gift will make room for you. Yeah. And I can bear witness that the God of heaven have made plenty of room for us yes. to reach the people. When I think of the souls that come walk with the truth in Dubai and the United Arab Emirates and out of Saudi Arabia, this message had went into the heart of Islamic country. And folks who were born, raised Muslims, repentant of their sins and went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ and received <laughs> baptism of the Holy Ghost. So where you are have no relevance. God have a way of making you truly submit. Your background, the way you were raised, good or bad, there is no situation that you're in that God cannot invade. You know, a lot of folk don't like you to invade their privacy, and rightfully so. But you know who don't pay that no mind? God. He will invade your privacy and turn your private life inside out and do what he want with you. How he want with you. Some men say I'm my own man. Some women say I'm my own woman. You're your own liar. For the word of God teaches us you are not your own. But you are bought with the price. What do you mean you're not your own? You don't belong to yourself. You were made for God's glory. God can do with you whatever pleases him at any place and at any time. Let us remember, God willing, I believe it's in June. We will be, Canada will be holding their first Canadian Holy Convocation. So we're being Canada. I've been in Canada several times, but now there's so many locations and so many people that have come from so many parts of the country. And I thank God for the telecast. It's covering the entire country. All of Canada's getting hit. All of it is getting hit. Now, I can't promise you how long we're going to be on that station. Only because our frank talking and being outspoken on everything 
you know, the government don't like it, especially same-sex marriages. But uh, there is a big discussion now in the governments of America, throughout America. I never thought we'd see a day where congressmen and will try to define the subject of what is a woman. The uh, transgender community and uh, transgender, that heading alone lets you know they are not really what they are. And I can prove that with the first chapter of the book of Romans. Because the word transgender, trance, comes from transform. And they are transformed into something that they are not. But congressmen and politicians, Democrats, <coughs> liberals, and hypocrite and Republicans who go by the heading of Christian, you know, anything call themselves a Christian today. Pot smoker, whoremongers, homosexuals, pole dancers. I remember a woman commented and heard me preach about women being in modest apparel. And she wrote me, and she commented and said how she agreed with modesty. She said, she's a modest pole dancer. I don't, <laughs> I never heard of a modest pole dancer. In fact, I don't even know how you can be a modest pole dancer. You know, because some pole dancer, they go up the pole and then come down like a spider. So how that long dress gonna stay down and you upside down, I really don't know. Because I don't think nobody gonna want to see a long dress, head covered, no makeup wearing pole dancer with stockings on. <laughs> Am I right, I said? So you, 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 you something how they try to integrate the Bible in their sins. But uh, if you do this thing the way God said it got to be done and should be done, you just might as well make it up in your mind to stop being a sinner. I know there's many of you so bad trying to integrate, trying to blend, trying to mix, trying to weave in the Bible to justify your lifestyle. But uh, when God said something, that's that. That's that. And you can change it. Even though I know the devil in churches and the devil in religion is working overtime trying to change what God says. But before this change, heaven and earth are going to have to pass away. So they're having this discussion questioning women and asking them to define what is a woman. Representatives from the transgender community. Now, think of it. The transgender community, the homosexual community, have become so pervertedly and wickedly influential until they got congressmen representing them, lawyer representing them, trying to ban certain terminologies used upon the female that God gave them. Lord trying to ban women that have children to be called mothers. My Lord. Trying to ban that. If you got a child, they're trying to ban you from being called mothers. You see, they already want to call the children them and they. You fool. That's a fool. Now, some of you so-called Christians are offended at my frank talking. Because you got some fairies in your house. I don't care where the little pixie dust is being sprinkled. That's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. That's right. I wouldn't care if it's in my family. If it's wrong, it's wrong. That's it. You will go to hell regardless of who family is in. So, <clears throat> because the truth of God uh, it's uncompromising. I don't compromise with nobody. I've been threatened so many times, I'm immune to it. I just tell them now, just do it. 
Don't waste your time emailing me and threatening me. If I come to your city and your town, all the preachers are hollering, oh, when he come to our town, we're going to do this. I come there, have church there several days, nobody show up. But souls that come to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You churches, hear me good, listen to the old troublemaker. That have compromised because you get governmental subsidies to run your senior citizens program, to run your daycare center. You get subsidies from the government, and for that cause, there are certain things the preachers and the board of directors are afraid of saying because they don't want the government to stop that funding. Think of it. I want all of you religious organizations to hear me. Anytime money from the government keep you from telling the truth and standing up for what's right, you're an American prostitute. You're a prostitute for the government. They can depend on you doing all the tricks so they can pay you. Here I come along stripping you with Bible. And you know who I get my greatest fight from? So-called Christians. Mm -hmm. You church goers that run around the church like you in the Indiana 500 falling out between chairs like you having convulsions like a roach been hit by rain. Mm -hmm. You don't like to be told in your face what the Bible says. So this is why they love to go to churches that spoil them. It's like a child who has been raised up in a spoiled house. He's a spoiled brat. He can come outside, don't wash his hands, go in the refrigerator. He can run all across the couch with his shoes, and jump all on the coffee table. Mama, take him to the supermarket. He said, Mommy, can I have that candy? She said, no, you can't have that. And he throw a tantrum and fall all on the floor, rolling all on the floor, massage Mommy, chest tied him. She just said, stop, Billy. Billy, why don't you stop? And he look at her and say, no. And, and, and then she go to reach for him, and he hit her. Get off me. Well, well. take Billy to Grandpa and Grandma house. When, Bill, when Billy come back home, you would think he's a monk coming back to his mama. <laughs> because the atmosphere of discipline converts, change, bring under subjection loose behavior. Now, hear me good. The Bible, the book of scriptures, is the book of discipline. When the word of God said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, what do you think that means? A good man's step is ordered by the Lord. Without the Lord, our steps are not good. That's right. Just look at the steps you made Oh, you came to the Lord, the places you went to. <laughs> Some of the places you went to, you wouldn't want nobody to know. No. Am I right, I say? Yeah. That's why some of you laughing. You know where you've been. <laughs> Only God changes your mind, which changes your steps. Now, what Satan desired to do to us is what he done to the churches. There's a scripture that talks about building up again, again. the things that you destroy. That's right. Which makes you a transgressor or which makes you a sinner. That's it. Let's go to work. Come in, on, Williams. In the book of Galatians chapter 2. Follow me. And at verse 18. All right. For if I build again. Follow me. You that are here, you that are listening in. I want you to hear this and look at your churches. Look at your churches. Look at your churches. Have you ever been in a church that had some strictness when the old bishop was living? 
And when Bishop died, you don't even recognize the place no more? Because most of you bishops, you know what you've done? You was more concerned about leaving a legacy and who you're going to leave the church to as a family member. So you trained your baby-making son. <laughs> That's right. Who can't keep his drawers on in the church. That's right. Am I right? That's right. You train your beer-guzzling nephew or you train some relative trying to keep your last name on a church building. That's right. When the souls of the people are more valuable, more important, more precious than the name of bishop on a building, then you look past the family name. That's it. You look past the family tree and you look at the scriptures saving the souls of men and women. That's it. Listen at this good and judge yourselves. Galatians chapter 2 and you verse 18. You that are watching, see, can you identify with what Williams is reading here? That's Give right. chapter and verse, Mr. Williams. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 18. All right, let's have it. For if I build again. If I build again. If I bring back again. If I start again. If I establish again the things which I destroy. The things, things. things that I got away from, that I stopped doing, that I stood up against, that have been destroyed, that have been demolished, that have been discontinued. I make myself. I make myself a transgressor. A sinner. That's it. That's it. That's right. Hear me good, viewers, and you that are here. That's right. Anytime the word of God destroyed destroys anything, and then the preacher come along and build that thing back up That's it. and justify it. That's right. He's a sinner. That's right. Glory to God. For if I build again. Hold it. Build again. Build again. You know, one of the greatest examples of the scriptures in the Old Testament. Yeah. There was a king, you know, Brother Solomon. Yeah. God appeared to him. He tore down all the idols around the kingdoms, tore them down. But then Solomon fell in some deep love and deep, deep outrageous loss 700 wives well you know he's in trouble but King Solomon 300 concubines that's right handmaidens born in his house that's right God appeared to him God ordained that David will build God a house but God allowed David offspring to build it, so his promise still was fulfilled. That's right. Solomon was a king, wise. His wisdom was God-given. Until I believe it was the queen Sheba came in to evaluate him and declared a half has not been told. That's right. So think of it. This man who was wise, all the then earth. all the kings before him. Listen now, at this. Now in the book of 1 Kings chapter 10, we'll start at verse 23. Follow me. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and for wisdom. Yes. And all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. All the earth wanted to hear Brother Solomon's wisdom. That's right. Uh -huh. Now in 1 Kings chapter 11 and at verse 1. Listen. But King Solomon... Loved many strange women. Wait a minute. Hmm. He didn't just love women. No. No. Was a certain kind. Strange women. That lets you know he had a certain taste. That's right. That lets you know that every woman couldn't satisfy him. That's right. He was attracted certain kind. That's right. Mm-hmm. 
But King Solomon loved <laughs> many strange he what? women. Loved. 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 Oh, he loved them. Oh, yes. yes. Amen. I don't know what they looked like, but <laughs> amen. He had plenty to choose from. Oh, yes. Some can't handle one. Amen. Many of these preachers that went to hell over one. That's right. Lost their mind over one. That's right. Done rearranged the whole church to please one. Amen. Done changed their doctrine and their teaching to satisfy one. That's right. That's right. Can you imagine such corruptness? Amen. Where a woman can get in the preacher's head so thick <laughs> until he stopped preaching against women preachers. Yeah. He no longer preach having your head covered. That's right. Tell the women you don't have to have your dresses long no more. You're going to raise them up like a curtain. That's right. Because there's a woman in his ear. Come on, honey. You ain't got to do that. That's a little too, too much too now. Much. That's too strict. I want to let my hair down. I want it to flow. That's right. Why don't That's you just change up on the makeup? Just gradually, you know, bring it back. I want to wear my lipstick. <laughs> That's right. Amen. First he said, well, no, the Bible said, the Bible said, the Bible says. Then she put him on the bed. Hmm. The Bible said, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. <laughs> That's right. What? Gone now. Gone. Bible says, with an imputed face, imputed face, she kissed him. That's right. You'd be surprised how many preachers' wives or women, women. in churches yes. have caused bishop, so-called apostle, so-called pastor to change their doctrine. That's right. So the Bible is no longer running the church. That's right. The woman, singular, or the women is calling all the shots oh, yeah. in church. That's right. That's right. Even changed his clothes. Yes. Now got him in a hot pink suit. That's right. Amen. That's right. Got him in a hot pink suit. Got him wearing a little clutch bag clutch like bag. a woman's pocketbook. That's right. Get me. That's got right. the bishop with his eyebrows arch now. My Lord. Hmm? Bishop eyebrow used to be thick like mine, like he had a mustache on his up his over his eyes. That's right. He went from thick to now just a line like a pencil. Oh yes. Amen. That's right. Now she got him chains all around his neck. Yeah. Rings on every finger, making him nothing but a playboy. That's it. Are you listening? That's right. Many of you watched him. That's your church. Oh, yes. Now look at your bishop. He looked like a pimp. Oh, yeah. A 75-year-old blood suit, red wearing, yellow shoe, pink, handshake, purple necktie pimp. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Get me now. But King Solomon loved many. King Solomon loved, loved many strange women. Many. 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 Many strange women. Strange women. Mm -hmm. Love. That's the way a lot of them do now. They love women that snort cocaine. And yeah. Get high. They love women they can get high with at night. That's right. They love women that can go out to the club with them and party and drink and all of that foolishness. All of that. Play cards all night with and drink a chain smoker. That's right. They love that. They love that. They love the woman who's 55 and thinks she's 18. Yeah. Out there with a mini skirt on, showing everything she's born with, oh, and yeah. feel proud when she's complimented by her granddaddy. That's right. That's true. Get this. But King Solomon loved many strange women. You see why they hate me? They hate me, brother. I'm like the father house they don't want to come to. <laughs> because we come with Bible letting you know, are you building up the things which thou hast destroyed? That God destroyed, are you building it back up? Are you going back? 
to the thing that God brought you out of? That's right. Let's go back to Solomon. Finish that up because this is good. Back in uh, 1 Kings 11 and verse 1. Follow me. But King Solomon loved many strange loved women. Loved many strange women. Together with the daughter of Pharaoh. Wait a minute. He loved them together. With the daughter of Pharaoh. With Pharaoh's daughters. Women of the Moabites. Women. Women. Of the Moabites. Hold it. The father of the Moab, Moabites, is the son of Lot's daughter. That's right. Lot was father and grandfather of Moab. That's right. How was that, Pastor Jennings? Lot had two daughters. That's right. They had no children. So they both agreed to get their father drunk. In the book of Genesis chapter 19. So they can lay with them. That's it. And he can get them pregnant so they can have seed. Right. In the land. That's right. Let me give you a Bible. Follow me. Genesis chapter 19. We'll start at verse 30. Hear this. And Lot went up out of Zoar and dwelt in the mountain. Yes. And his two daughters with him. And? For he feared to dwell in Zoar and he dwelt in a cave. He and his two daughters. Here's chapter and verse again. Genesis chapter 19, now we're at verse 31. Follow me. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Yeah. My father is old. Our father is old. And there is not a man in the earth there to come no unto us. ain't no man in the earth that's coming to us. After the manner of all the earth. Yes. Come, let us make our father drink wine. Uh-oh. Amen. The sisters got together in a conspiracy. That's right. Let's get our father stoned. And we will lie with Let's him. Let's get our father wasted. That's right. Let's get our father drunk. Come, let us make our father drink wine. And what? And we will lie with him. We'll lay with him. That we may preserve seed of our father. So we can preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night. And what? And the firstborn went in and lay with the father. Yes. And he perceived not. They took turns. That, that's right. <laughs> that's right. They took turns. That's right. You know, Bishop, mm. like the women in the church are with you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Am I right, I said? That's right. There are bishops, elders, pastors, got plenty of women in the church pregnant. Amen. Now. Amen. Won't take care of those children either. No. Amen. No. Hear me good. And they made their father drink wine that they night. They made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in and the lay first with her father. Born, the oldest one lay with, with the father. And he perceived not when she lay down she nor was when too, she arose. He was too drunk. Yeah. He perceived not when she lay down. When she lay down. Nor when she arose. No, brother, he was wasted. He was wasted. Anytime you don't know when she lied down and got up, you're out of it. You're done. That's right. The wine had its way. That's right. Listen. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger. Yes. Behold, I lay yesternight with my father. Hey, look, I, I got pop. It's your turn. Let us make him drink wine this night also. Let's get him stoned the second go round. And go thou in and lie with him that we may preserve seed of our father. It's your turn to get pregnant by dad. And they made their father drink wine that night also. Why? Uh -huh. And the younger arose and lay with him. Then what? And he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. And thus were both the daughters of Lot. Both the daughters of Lot. With child. With child. By their father. Which made him father and grandfather. That's right. That's right. From the, child, from the children, Lot's children. They had two sons, one and, apiece. That's right. One name was Moab. And the firstborn bare a son and called his name Moab. Moab. The same is the father he of is the, the Moabites. Same of the, which is the father of the Moabites. Unto this day. Unto this day. And the younger. And the younger. She also bare a son and called his and name his Benamai. name was what? Benamai. Benamai. The same is the father of the children of Ammon unto same this day. Same is the father of the children of of Ammon. That's right. All right, let's go back to where you were in the book of Kings. Back in 1 Kings 11 and at verse 1. So Moab, there were some strange folk. Strange. And that 
group, that generation. That's right. That uh, Solomon was attracted to. Women of the Moabites. Women. Amen. Of the Moabites. Ammonites. Ammonites. Edomites. Edomites. Zidonians. Zidonians. And Hittites. A whole lot of ites going on. Well, that's right. Hittite. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of now Israel. Now I want you to pay attention to what the Lord said about these nations. That's right. But yet Solomon was attracted to what the Lord spoke against. That's right. Listen. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel. Yes. Ye shall not go into them. God said, don't go to them. Neither shall they come in unto you. Neither should they come to you. For surely. Surely. They look will, at the warning. For surely. Warning. That's, that's warning. Right. Warning. That's right. God surely. says, surely. They will turn away your heart. They will turn away your heart. After their gods. That's exactly, That's exactly what have happened in the churches. That's right. That's right. And when your heart turn away from God to the gods of this world. Oh, yes. You're going to build up. That's right. Everything that you preached against. That's right. Everything. Everything. That you stood so firmly against. That's right. Slowly but surely. You're going to be manipulated. Man manipulation is successful when you're weak. That's right. And not sound. That's right. You got men and women that's full of hell that will pray and play upon oh, yes. your weakness and vulnerability, which is a spirit of a low down, no good dog. That's right. Get me. For surely they will turn away your heart after Shut their up. gods. Look at older so. folk will remember back in the 1970s, Jim Jones. Yeah. yeah. And the Jim Jones massacre. Mm -hmm. yeah. He manipulated those followers. That's right. Enough to leave America and all pack up and go to another place. Yeah. Manipulated them enough that he was sleeping with their daughters That's and right. their sons. That's right. And they was giving their children to him willingly. That's right. My Lord. He would go have sex with the women while the husband will sit and watch. That's right. And they said it was an honor to give our wives to the man of God. He was a pimp. That's it. That's all he was. Get me. That's right. Hear me good now. Hear me good. Hear me good. I want to roast you like chestnuts on an open fire. For surely they will turn away your heart. Surely they will turn your heart away. After their gods. Look at you. Look at you, viewers. Look at the church you're in. Amen. Look at the church you're in. Look at how it changed over the years. The church changed because the preacher's heart changed. That's it. When the preacher's heart changed, his feelings that he had towards God, that changed. That's right. And when his feelings towards God changed, his mind changed. Right. So now the things of God is not as important as they used to be. That's right. That's right. Why you think church is nothing but entertainment now? Amen. Oh, yeah. Choirs don't sing to the glory of God. No. They perform to entertain people. That's right. Glory to God. Not singing for God's glory no more. No. Just to perform. That's it. Entertain people. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? For surely they will turn surely. away your heart. The After world, the religious world. Oh, yes. Heart have changed. Oh, yes. Oh. Amen. When your heart changed, you're a backslider. That's right. You know, a lot of you think that a backslider is when someone leave the church or leave the building. Oh, no. Oh, you no. backslide before your body leave a building. That's right. I mean, long before your body went anywhere. 
Oh, yes. The Bible says it this way about Israel. In their heart, they turned back again into Egypt. Back again. That's, huh? right. That's right. Didn't they say so? In Acts 7 and verse 39. Be quick. To whom our fathers would not obey. Look at the apostles reflecting, telling Israel about their fathers. To, to whom our fathers would not obey. But thrust but him from thrust them. thrust him from them. And in their and hearts. And in their hearts. Turned back their again. Their heart turned back again. In, into Egypt. Into bondage. And that's where backsliding start. That's is it. when your heart go back to the well, that's even it. when your body come to church every Sunday. That's right. That's right. That's the right. churches have went back. Went back. Long time. Oh, yes. Anytime you get disco lights now in church. That's right. Amen. A disco ballroom sparkle globe in church. Amen. Psychedelic lights in church. Amen. Besides a choir singing and may rock back and forth, they do extra. That's right. Extra now. Extra. In other words, church people today are scared. That's to right. be different from the world because they're more focused on being accepted by the world even if God reject them. Amen. The church's priorities have gotten wrong. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For they love the praise of men. Do you hear it? In St. John chapter 12 and verse 43. Glory to God. They love the, the praise, praise of, men of men. More. More. Than the praise of God. Than the praise of God. That's they right. love it. Love it. They love it. Don't want to hear nothing what God have to say no more. No. They don't want to hear the Bible preach no more. Oh, no. There's some men that will invite men to their church and they'll tell them, look. Uh, make sure you don't preach doctrine. No doctrine that's here. That's right. That's right. They'll tell you that right away. That's don't, right. Don't, don't bring no doctrine here. <laughs> that's you know, right. just you know, just make the people feel good, but no doctrine. No doctrine. In other words, we don't we don't want no real church. That's right. No, thrust that from us. That's right. That's right. That's right. No longer want to be holy. Amen. That's why they look at me so strange. Oh yeah. Had an old woman in her 80s going on 90. She said, I thought holiness was gone off the planet. <laughs> she said, when I heard you, I could not believe of what you were saying. A holy, sanctified preacher? Mm. She said, I thought all of y'all were dead. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Lord, dear God, this is the one cave man that came out the cave. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. That's right. We come out. That's it. Or we take God and we come out thundering Bible. Oh, yes. Telling the world to come back to Bible. That's it. Come on back. That's it. Come on back to Bible or else to. be stubborn and sit still and die and go to hell. For they love the praise the of men. The Bible said they love the praise of men. More. More. Than the praise of God. Loved it. Go back to Solomon now. Back Let's in, look at what he loved. Back in 1 Kings chapter 11 and verse 1. Be quick. But King Solomon loved many strange women. He loved many strange women. Together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites. I want to show you how Solomon built up what he destroyed with the idols. Read fast. Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites. Yes. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children the of Lord Israel. The Lord said to the children of Israel. Ye shall not go into them. Don't you go into them. Neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn don't away you go your to heart. them, and don't you let them come to you. That's right. Because there's a spirit in them. That's right. They'll turn you. For surely, surely they will turn away your heart you after know, their gods. You know, if you're trying to stop a thing, hear me, hear me, hear me good. If you're trying to stop a thing, you cannot afford to be around people that's indulging in what you're trying to quit doing. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Trying to stop smoking and stop cussing and stop drinking and stop gambling and them the only friends you hang around. Be not deceived. They're going to hold you hostage with the same habit. Yes, they will. The Bible speaks plain in the book of Corinthians. First Corinthians 15 and verse 33. That's what? Be not deceived. They start off warning you. Be that you know don't be tricked. Evil. Don't be deceived. That's right. Evil. Communication. Communication. Corrupt. It will corrupt. Good manners. Good manners. That's right. I don't care how good you want to be. You keep hanging around a corrupt people, a corrupt man, a corrupt group. Oh, yeah. You're going to be held hostage by that corruption, and you will never 
That's right. Oh, we take God, come out of what you're in. That's right. That's right. Be not deceived. That's why many of you have held hostage in these fake, fake holiness churches. Oh, yeah. Fake apostolic churches. That's right. You're held hostage. That's right. Because they are doing what you love. That's right. Fashion shows Fashion in churches and raffle tickets in churches and amen banquets in churches where the women come with a gown back all out deep cut showing your cleavage and got your face painted like Jezebel. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, That's right. What do he say, son? Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Evil communications. Corrupt Evil. good manners. Evil. Evil communication. Wrong dialogue. Corrupt good manners. Having the wrong conversation. Hallelujah. That's right. Be not deceived. They're the corrupt you. Oh, yes. You're so weak, you can't, you can't take it being around that type of talk. That's right. You're so weak, you'll be part of it. That's right. And before you know it, you're in it so deep, you can't get out of it. That's right. That's true. Be not deceived. That's why God says, come out. Come out from among them. From among them. And be ye separate. Get away from them. Be ye separate. Come out. Come out. Hallelujah. Come out. Take off. Come out. Come out. Come out from among them. Oh, thank God I got the blast that you know. Blast right. Come out. Come out from among Let them. Let them alone. And be Even ye separate. Even Jesus said, let, let them, them alone. alone. That's right. If the blind... Lead the, the blind. blind. Both. The both shall fall into the Goes pitch. to hell. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Save yourself. Hallelujah. Your mama don't want to go. Stop arguing with her. That's right. Your husband don't want to go. Stop arguing with him. That's right. Your wife don't want to go. Stop arguing with her. Amen. Save yourself. Save yourself. That's it. Stop arguing with your bishop. That's right. Save yourself. Save yourself. Work on yourself. That's it. That's it. Go back to the book of Kings. Hallelujah. Back in 1 Kings 11 and verse 2. What did it say? You God? shall not go into them. Stay away from them. Neither shall they come in unto you. Neither shall they come unto you. For surely they will turn surely away your heart. They'll turn away your heart. After their God. That's what happened to a lot of you. Oh, yes. A lot of you preachers are friends with preachers who don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. That's right. You got so close That's until right. now you are saying he's not God. That's it. That's right. Hallelujah. That means with hell That's right. you are at, at an agreement. agreement. An agreement. On the falsehood you have hid yourself. That's right. That's right. Imagine that so close with a preacher. He tell you Jesus Christ ain't God. Imagine oh that. yeah, you know he ain't God. Blaspheme so fast. Yeah, we have made a covenant with death. Listen at the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter twenty-eight and verse fifteen. We have made an agreement with death and with hell. And with hell. Are we at agreement? We have made a covenant. We have made a pact with death. With death. We have made a pact with sin. And for the sting of death is sin. That's right. We'd have made a covenant with death, with sin, and with hell. What you mean made a covenant with sin? We made covenant. a pact. That's we ain't right. going to preach that no more. That's right. Huh? That's right. We'd have made a pact. We're not going to preach Jesus Christ as God no more. That's right. We're not going to preach there's one God no more. We're not going to preach against women preachers and divorce and remarry. We ain't going to preach that no more. That's right. We ain't going to preach you got, that you got to speak in tongues. We're going to leave that alone. That's it. And let them just get the Holy Ghost on their own will. We have made a covenant. We ain't going to preach you got to be baptized after you repent in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to toss that out. That's right. We're going to get rid of modest apparel. Let them go on to the club and let, let, them, let them have parties in church. That's it. Because, you know, it's a younger generation. That's and right. And we got to resort to new ways to get young people. That's that's right. Liar! Amen. Amen. That's like saying you got to become a whore. Yeah. To stop your friend from whoring. That's right. That's right. I ain't got to become a drunk to make you stop drinking. That's right. I got to follow God. That's it. That you may see God in my life. That's it. Are you listening to what I'm talking? We have made a covenant with death. So this is the mindset of churches. Oh, yeah. 
We got the result of all these methods oh, yes. to get young people. That's right. Let's have parties. Yeah. yeah. Let's have set up a Christian dating website. That's right. This is all supposed to be church. 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 Let's rub arms with politicians once in a while. Yeah. Oh yes. Let's invite a Christian comedian. That's right. The cracks jokes for the young people That's right. on Saturday night to keep <laughs> them off the street. That's what they Keep them off the street and then give them a comedian and what's on the street now you got it entertaining them. That's right. Old folks say out of the frying pan into the fire. Oh yes. Finish it. Read what you have, son. Be Back in Isaiah 28 and verse 15. Real quick. Because ye have said we have made a covenant with death. We made a covenant. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. With, with death. death. And with hell. With hell. Are we at agreement? Imagine you made an agreement with hell. With hell. And what? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through. When the overflowing scourge, when the terror pass through, it they shall, say, it shall they not got come unto us. It won't come to us. For we have made lies our refuge. Oh, yes. Oh, Imagine yes. that. Oh, yes. The Bible says God is our refuge. That's right. But the false churches and a false prophet, what is their refuge? We have made lies. We have made our refuge. lies. We hide under lies. And under for falsehood. Our refuge and under faking, under ha falsehood. Have we hid ourselves? Amen. Under falsehood. You know, this is a gospel that's strong. Oh, yes. Glory to God, you can hear and feel hear. the strength in it. <laughs> that's right. All right, let's go back to Brother Solomon. I want everybody to hear me and get this. Back in 1 Kings 11, still at verse 2. All right. Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. Yes. For, for surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. And? Solomon clave unto these in love. And he had 700 wives. Wait. Amen. Solomon didn't just associate himself. Solomon clave unto these in love. Clave. That's it. He cleaved to it. That's right. Didn't want to surrender them. Amen. Didn't want to give them up. Yeah. He was passionate about it. That's right. The Bible tells you his emotional tie. Solomon clave unto these. With what emotion? In love. Love. His love. That's right. Help him hostage in sin. That's right. Unlawful love held him hostage That's right. in sin. That's right. That's you, viewers. Oh, yeah. That's why you don't like to, you don't want to give up that second wife and second husband, hmm. third wife and third husband, yeah. because you are cleaving, cleaving to them. That's right. In love. You don't want to come out the PAW and the UPC. And the church of God and prophecy and the church of God in Christ and the church of pillar ground and truth and the church on the of the living God and amen and the house of prayer for all hypocrites <laughs> and the right. so-called churches of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic nothings. Amen. Way of the cross. Way of the, cross. Way of the mess. That's right. You don't want to come out these so-called apostolic and Pentecostal organizations where you can remarry and divorce, live together, not married, have same-sex marriages, yeah. don't believe Jesus Christ is God, don't have one God. That's right. That's right. Preacher wives run the church. Amen. They not only got the preacher wife as the first lady, mm -hmm. but in Philadelphia, many churches got same-sex marriages, yeah. so there's one preacher, his wife ain't the first lady, his boyfriend bears the title the first man in the church. The first man. Not the first lady, the first man. That's right. Oh, Lord. Are you listening? Solomon clave unto these you in see, love. I'm like a rock waller. <laughs> That's right. When it comes to the Bible, barking oh, yeah. and chasing you down with Bible, That's it. ripping your belief to shreds. That's right. You don't like it because you can't tame me. That's right. Amen. Yeah, man, you can throw money, you can throw women, you can throw a Ferrari, you can throw anything at my feet if you want. I'm already tamed. Oh, yes. I got a good trainer. That's it. That's it. And God is my trainer. That's right. Hallelujah. You know, when you stand for this so strong, people will try to taint you. Yes, they will. Oh, they, they tried to taint me, and they used social media. Oh, yeah. Yes, they did. I remember a woman 
We disfellowship out of our Newport News Church. She was the financial secretary years ago. Yeah. And uh, she stole, I don't even know how many thousands she was stealing. Oh. Sharing it with some old goat. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And security one day told her, come out the office. She was, high, she was in her office, which was adjacent to my office, trying to eavesdrop on all my conferences. My Lord. So I staged the conference. <laughs> the brothers told me that she was doing it. And you know, I love to get a person the benefit of a doubt. So I called one of the other secretaries to come in the office and we staged the conference. Amen. Because I wanted to see where these things so. Yeah. And I told her, make sure you talk loud enough <laughs> so she can hear you. Amen. Amen. In fact, I told her, stand next to the wall. <laughs> I staged it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And, uh, and it was right because the financial secretary went and repeated to some of her close friends everything that was said and had no idea we were staging it. My Lord. Because I resorted to that method to find out was the brothers telling me the truth. Yeah. Amen. So then the next time I was down there, she was in her office waiting to see who I had a conference with. And... Uh, I told the brothers on security, tell her, come out the office. Yeah. Right then she knew she was caught. She got smart. She said, I ain't coming out of nowhere. They came to me and said, Pastor Jen, she said, she ain't coming out. I came out my office. I said, you ain't doing what? <laughs> I said, you got a choice. Come out or you shall be resurrected from the dead. <laughs> you ain't dead, but the resurrection will the come. The resurrection will come. <laughs> Amen. And uh, she got out of there. Yeah. And when she got out of there, she was so embarrassed, I disfellowshipped her out the church. That's right. I put her out. Well. And she went on the attack. Yeah. She drummed up a letter of lies as she attacked me, women in the church, brothers in the church, their wives in the church, but she really tried to throw me under the bus. Yeah. Said, Pastor Jenny, with that sister, with that sister, with that sister. He, she said that I bought a sister, uh, some sisters, houses and cars, trying to make me Nelson Rockefeller. <laughs> All you, listen, if you want to be popular, just get on YouTube and just say, folk, subscribe. Yeah. I hate Pastor Jenny. You might become rich. That's true. That's true. Because hypocrites can't stand Pastor Jennings. That's right. Because I can't be bought like them. That's right. Well, yeah, she threw me under the bus and whatnot. Oh. I told my wife, I ain't worrying about it. God will take care of her. Yeah. Because when you know that you've done right, you ain't got to worry about what people say about you. That's right. But there was a false prophet, a less than a half inch by half inch Yosemite Sam false prophet in Alabama. Amen. Who put a lie out, some few people left and started hanging out with him. And he told all of those that hang out with him that Pastor Jennings got a baby in Alabama. Lord. There was a brother, I think, in the Atlanta Temple, right? That was one of the ones that left. He used to go to the Atlanta Temple. Mm -hmm. Well, that brother used to be close to some of my brothers. Uh, brother Boogaloo, Brother Miles. <laughs> and some of the others, <laughs> Brother Boogaloo. And I'm pretty sure Miles is smiling now with that lamp to the side. <laughs> and he tried to persuade them to leave. And the, and the brother, they, they don't even know me. Uh, but the false prophet in Alabama said, Pastor Jennings got a baby in Alabama. I tell you what you do, bring the baby and the woman. That's right. That's right. I can face any woman. I got seven kids. That's All right. came out the same womb. That's right. Um, I, I'm not a loose hoe. No. Like you. Oh, no. See, I can say I ain't got no children. That's right. Outside of my seven that I had. That's it. I can say that. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. And I can say it loudly. <laughs> That's right. That's I right. take care of seven. I don't need no more. No. Seven's enough. But that's what false prophets do. Oh, yeah. They try to get people to come to them. Then they try to destroy your character. That's it. To make sure 
they don't want to come back. That's right. And they try to make it so as if they know you so much. Yeah. You don't know Pastor Jennings. No. They like to project the image that they know Pastor Jennings. You don't know me. No. Pastor Jennings ain't got no babies or baby singular in Mobile, Alabama. That's right. Never did. That's right. Never will. Never will. Don't try to make me like you. That's right. You little midget whore. <laughs> don't try to make me like you. That's right. That's a lie you don't have to tell. <laughs> Amen. Just get in the pulpit and say, I hate Pastor Jenner. That's now, that'll it. be the truth. That's right. You ain't got to make me like a little miniaturized pimp. That's right. Hallelujah. You little hypocrites. That's right. Hey, Amen. You go somewhere and go buy a pack of pampers and sit down. Sit down. God, I'm not a loose man. No, you're not. I don't have no children outside of my wife, and I can say it to the world. That's right. I can say it to the world. That's right. I ain't got to worry about no woman popping up with a baby. Wait a minute. This is mine. I can prove it. I would be just as calm if a woman walked in a convention and That's stood right. up with a baby in her arm. I give her a microphone. That's right. This is your passage. In. I'd be very cool. Very it is? Okay. Let's, let's, let's get the doctor. And what's your name? When was I with you? That's right. Do you know my schedule? What time I got to be with you? And what make you so good, I would want to be with you. Amen. Amen. I'm not the type of man no. that jump at everything that got legs. That's right. I don't have to pay no woman to sit in church and be quiet and give her money on the side. That's right. I will never stoop that low. No, no. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? Amen. That's why they hate Pastor Jen. Oh, so yes. all of you and that little wooden log cabin that was told <laughs> by your false prophet, Pastor Jennings got a baby in Alabama. Yeah. That's an outstanding lie. That's right. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. Ask him, do we have one? That's right. Amen. 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 They can't stand me. No, they can't. They just make up stuff. That's true. I had some people that left the church. That's true. And got mad with my strict preaching out the Del Mar, Delaware temple some years ago. Yeah. Before they left, yeah. one of the sisters just got a random picture of a light-skinned baby. Don't know who the baby was. <laughs> and said, Pastor Jennings got a baby in Washington. Lord. What am I? A sperm evangelist? My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. I know who's the mother of my children. That's right. And she know who's the father of her children. That's right. That's Do right. you know who's the father of yours? Who's the father of yours? You see, you fellas forget, I was your former pastor. I counsel all you people. That's right. And there are things only I know. That's right. That your wives and your husbands don't know. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. And that's what you're forgetting. That's right. I have counseled you. Oh, yeah. And there are things I know that your husbands and wives don't. Don't. But I won't be like you. That's right. I don't have to lie, nor would I take your personal business and publicize it. That's right. You know, but... Get a blood test. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Get a blood test. That's right. 
You that said I got a baby in Washington, I got cousins in Washington. I got in-laws. Yeah. I got a niece. She look almost identical to my wife. Amen. A beautiful little thing. Well, she's a grown woman now. Amen. And I remember before my wife and I got married, we was holding service in the basement. My wife brought her niece, which is her older sister's Joyce daughter, Shalita. Mm. And when she brought her to church, me and my wife wasn't married yet. There was an old mother, <laughs> Mother Armstrong. She saw that baby, looked at my wife, looked at that baby, looked back at my wife. She went to my mother and said, what is Sister Darlene doing with that baby? Her and pastor ain't married yet. Mm. She said, what's she doing with that baby? Her <laughs> mother said, don't worry, that's her niece. She said, her niece? She looked just like, she said, yeah, but that's her niece. <laughs> Are you listening? Amen. To so all of you in that false church in Alabama yeah. who pastored, he, y'all, y'all, he told y'all, I got a baby in Alabama. Right. It's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. I ain't knock up nobody in Alabama. No. And I've been going there for almost 30 years. That's right. I ain't knock up no Alabama meat. <laughs> That's right, Pastor. But ask your pastor, have he? And remember, I have counsel and have led you for. So there's things that I, even I only know. That's right. That's right. See, when you go to a counselor, there's things the counselor know yeah. that others don't. Amen. You that say I got a baby in Washington and a baby in Kentucky and a baby somewhere else. Yeah. Like I'm a Rolling Stone cowboy. <laughs> right. no. No, no, I'm a father of seven kids. Brittany, Sierra, Ernie, Jordan, Reds, Persia, and the most honorable minister, Malcolm X. Amen. My youngest one. Your youngest. Malcolm Malik. That's right. Outside of that, none. None. And I ain't trying to make none. No. Amen. That's right. Now make a webcast and clean it up. <laughs> That's right. Make a webcast and clean it up. You Amen. told the folk that Pastor Jennings got a baby in Alabama. You just flat out lied. Lie. And all liars shall have their That's part right. in the lake. That's right. Why are you preachers so focused yeah. on trying to kill my credibility? That's right. It takes more than talk oh, yeah. to stop the truth of God. Oh yeah. If you want to stop it, you're in the wrong location. That's right. You got to go to heaven. Go to heaven. Go to heaven. And stop God. That's right. When you stop God, then you will stop me. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did Solomon say? Ye shall not go into them. Don't go into them. Neither shall they come in unto you. Don't come to you. For surely they will turn away your heart. Glory to God. Surely they will turn Hallelujah. away your heart. They will turn away your heart. After their gods. After their gods. Solomon clave unto these Solomon in love. Solomon clave. Amen. Read fast. And he had 700 wives. 700 wives and 300 concubines. And 300 concubines and his wife's. And his wives turned away his heart. Yes. For it came to pass when Solomon was old. When Solomon was old. That his wives turned away his heart after other gods. Amen. Before then, the man was all about one. Oh, yeah. Because that one appeared to him. That's right. His wisdom was a gift from God. That's right. But women, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, good. Yeah. Changed them. Changed them. And this is a known epidemic oh, yeah. in churches around the world That's right. where the preacher is nothing but a front but his wife That's right. runs the entire church. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. 
His wife said, don't put that sister in that position. Take her out because I don't get along with her. Yeah. He go to the sister. Well, you know, I, I rethought about it. You ain't rethought really about nothing, you old spineless bum. <laughs> That's right. Don't you know the pulpit is not supposed to be ran no. by the preacher's wife? In fact, the preacher's wife don't have no say so That's about right. us up here. No. She got to submit and follow God's word like anybody else or go to hell with anybody else. That's right. Get me. For it came to pass when Solomon was old. Yes. That his wives turned away his heart after other gods. Then what? And his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God. Yes. As was with the heart of David his father. For Solomon went after Ashtoreth. Look at him. Naming the gods. Solomon went after Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Zidonians. The goddess of the Zidonians. And after Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites. The abomination of the Amorites. And Solomon did evil in the sight he of the Lord. He did evil in God's sight. And went not fully after the Lord. What? As wait, 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 wait. Amen. Do you hear the language of the Bible? And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. And what did that call him to do? And went not fully after the Lord. That's what happened to churches. That's right. They have changed so drastically. Drastically. They hide behind the name Jesus. Yeah. But they're not fully. Fully after the Lord. Pursuing God. That's right. And they're not fully committed to God. That's it. Because somebody's called Church of the Lord Jesus Christ or Church in the name of Jesus Christ or a Church of Pillar Ground and Truth. Anybody paying that no mind? No. When you fully. Fully. Go after God, the doctrine that he gave his apostles governs the church. That's right. It runs the church. That's right. A lot of men got out of here when they thought they can bring that old trash belief in here. Yeah. We got in behind them with Bible and beat them unmerciful That's until right. they got out of here. Oh, yeah. Nobody comes in the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ and going to change this form of doctrine. No way. When I say nobody, nobody, I mean nobody. Nobody. Eh? And Solomon oh, yeah. did Go evil in God. the sight of the Lord. Nobody! Amen. You can't offer me nothing. You can offer me all the money in the world. I don't need your money. No. I ain't nobody's hoe. You can't buy me. No, no. When I debated the nation of Islam at Ben Franklin School, over 2,000 people was there. A fella came up with a check, gave me $100,000, and then gave them from Rodney Bahamas camp a hundred thousand dollars and then he got up there talking all that stuff and i just listened at him and listened at him i gave him the check back and said take that i'm not a hoe you can't buy me that's right i don't care how rich you are no. or how poor there's one thing for everybody and this is it this is it this is it brother you better take advantage of this time right now that's right amen god sent me to you like he sent noah in noah's day yeah. to warn the world before judgment that's right before i don't care how much anointing you got if you prophesy until you go back in time <laughs> when it's done you got to come back and obey this message that's or right lost that's it lost preacher lost lost Lost. Listen at what the word said. And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. Yes. And went not fully after the Lord. Didn't go fully after God. As did David his father. As did David his father. Then did Solomon build a high place for Chemosh. Yes. The abomination of Moab. Did you hear this? Oh, yes. This is stuff that he tore down. That's right. But now Solomon built a high place. Then did Solomon build a high place for Chemosh. For Chemosh. The abomination of the Moab. The abomination of Moab. In the hill that is before Jerusalem. Yes. And for Molech. Yes. The abomination of the children of Ammon. Uh -huh. And likewise did he for all his strange wives. Wait a minute. He built up all these idols for who? And likewise did he for all his strange wives. All his strange wives. Which burnt incense and sacrifice unto their gods. Yes. And the Lord was angry with Solomon. Because his heart was turned away from the Lord God of Israel. That's why I'm not changing. That's why. That's, that's, that's it. That's why I'm not changing. That's right. To make a friend with no preacher. You mm -hmm. ain't worth being. No. Worth having? No. Amen. As if I need it. I don't need your friendship. No. Huh? Amen. Amen. Some, a preacher came. 
to Philadelphia and talk to me, a man from Quintman, Georgia. We had a, a brief time. He kept asking me about some preacher in Alabama. I said, what you keep asking me about him for? I don't need him. Right. That fellow don't contribute nothing to the church. No. I mean, if you're so concerned about him, you can have him. I ain't That's got right. no time for no blasphemer. That's right. First church don't need him. No. I ain't God, man. We're covering the world. That's right. I mean, when you contribute nothing, we don't need that we foolishness. Don't, we don't need that. And here we are, laboring and work. The Bible said all that believe were together. together. That's right. But if you're not a believer, I have no reason to be together with you. No. Huh? No. I don't have to turn my back to even look at you. That's right. Do you hear this? Go back to the book of Galatians now if you build up. Back in Galatians chapter 2 and verse 18. Hear this. For if I build again. If I build again. The things which I destroy. I'm determined not to do that. Not to do that. I don't, when God brought me out of falsehood, I have no desire to go visit. No. To see how they doing. I know how they doing. That's right. I don't have no desire to go That's fellowship. Right. For what? No. I don't have no desire to get together with my old organ buddies and let's play a selection. I ain't playing nothing. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Huh? I don't have no desire to go visit you on joy night, no. Saturday night church hangout. I no time for that. No. Why? The Lord is coming. That's right. That's right. And now you're a new creature. Oh, yes. All things. Passed away. Passed away. Passed away. Hold, behold, all things become new. All that church hopping comes to an end. Oh, yes. That church hopping stop. That's right. That's right. You know, a lot of folk go to church and say, well, they baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. They have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues as long as they have that. The other stuff that I know they got wrong, I don't, you know, I'm yeah, just going to you know, you know. separate the meat from the bones. You know you're going to hell. <laughs> That's right. Because in God's word, it ain't no bone. No. It is written meats for the belly and, and the belly. belly for the meats. That's right. It ain't say meat and bones. No. It's just meat. Just meat. Huh? For if I build again. Hear us, look at your church. Glory to God. Hear the old troublemaker so I can stay up. That's right. Look at the change. That's right. Look at everything that was torn down. It's built up now. You used to didn't celebrate Christmas. Now look at you. Oh, yeah. Now you got Easter egg hunts around the church. Yeah. Amen. 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 Pool tables in churches now. That's right. Church raffle tickets. Bingo in church. That's All right. this stuff they built back up. Christmas trees now, back in church. Yeah. Now the choir singing Christmas carols. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Building up everything. Build again. Used to believe in apostles now. Oh, don't believe it no more. Believe Building it. up. That's right. Building up what you destroy. That's right. Makes you a sinner. For if I build again. Do you hear? This is plainly written here. For if I build again. If I build again. The things the which I things destroyed. That I destroyed. I make myself. I make myself. A transgressor. A sinner. That's right. That's right. Any preacher. Any preacher. Used to believe what the word of God says. Yeah. And then turn his back on it. Oh yes. And start building up. Or tear down what he used to believe, that's Bible. Right. And then build up yeah. what he never believed, that's not Bible. That's right. What are you? I make myself a transgressor. You're a sinner. That's it. That may good now. You're a sinner. That's a sinner. You know, there's a lot of sinners that people have for pastors then. Mm. And if you look at the churches, woe be unto you oh, if yeah. Jesus came right now. That's right. If Jesus came right now, 99.9 .9 of the whole earth will go to hell. That's true. There will be more people make the first resurrection who already been dead for years. That's true. But most of the living will go absolutely to hell. My Lord. My Lord. Don't want the things of God no it. more. No. People are willing to settle for anything. Yeah. And to manipulate the viewers, now you got these little high pocket preachers. <laughs> Amen. Little hot pocket preachers now saying they holiness. Nobody was saying that until the truth of God came along. That's right. None of them were saying it. That's right. None. 
Now they're trying to speak the same talk. Same but the people now are comparing what these folk out there call holiness with the message. With the message. And even the people are saying, y'all folk ain't holy. <laughs> That's right. Women all up in the pulpit preaching, women bishops, women evangelists, women elders, women running revivals, women pastors. Women pastors. Preachers with two and three and four and five wives like a Michelin car dealer. That's right. That's the treads right. go down on one, they trade that tire in and get a new wife. Yeah. Do you hear this? For if I build again the things which I destroy. They fellowship with all kind of unbelief. All kind of things. Amen. The Amen. Bible locked down your fellowship. That's right. And said if you walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship we have one fellowship. with the other. I won't even fellowship with the preacher that don't believe the Bible and I know it. If there come any unto you. Do you hear it? In 2 John chapter 1 and verse 10. What did he say? If there come any unto you. What? What? And bring, what? 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 What did he say? If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine. Do you hear this? Receive him not into your house. You believe in divorce and remarriage. Don't even come here thinking you can preach. That's right. Don't even ask me to fellowship with you. That's right. I won't belittle myself. No. Don't believe in apostles now. Don't bother me. Don't, don't bother you. Don't believe in one God. Stay where you're at unless you want to change. <laughs> That's right. Bible said have no fellowship. No if you fellowship. hear the word of God talking. If there come any unto you. Any. That got your daddy, your mama, your brother, your uncle. That's right. Your so-called friend. One thing I learned about this, it'll separate your house. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. You'll find your so-called brother. Yeah. I'll fight you bitterly. That's right. And these are folk that claim they want to be holy. <laughs> Amen. Some of you men that claim you're Amen. preachers, your wife is a so-called preacher and you know what's wrong. Yeah. And you say, yeah, Pastor Jay, you know, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm a teller. I'm a teller, but you know, yeah, I don't want to hurt her feelings. You're her feelings. Amen. When it comes to hell and not going, who cares about your feelings? That's right. Tell the wife what's right. What? That's it. That's that it. way you deliver your soul. Yeah. Hear this. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, Receive him not into your house. Receive him not in your house. Neither bid him Neither God bid speed. him God speed. For he that biddeth him God he speed. He that bid him God speed. Is partaker of his evil deeds. You people. Who got preachers that hate the truth of God. And the preacher can manipulate you to do anything. That's right. Say anything. Yeah. That's because he don't like the message. Right. You're a whole for the preacher. That's right. Even if you're a man, you're a male whore a male for the whore. preacher. That's right. Never at no time have I sent any members to other churches trying to influence people to leave. No. Never at no time in my practically 40 years of pastoring, next year be 40 years, yeah. did I ever give someone money if they would come to first church That's right. or give them money to stay in church, first church, I ain't giving you nothing. That's right. I, if you're hungry, and I know you are, I feed you. Oh, yeah. But I won't give you a half of a gnat's ankle <laughs> to make you stay here. No. No. Amen. Amen. When you got to start paying people to, to stay. Yeah. How many more are you going to have to pay? Oh, yeah. I'm glad we never had to resort to these weak, cheap, foolish, desperate Jesus. measures. That's right. And that's why if you evaluate all of these men that's hollering, they ain't got no work. No. Nothing. They're no, empty. No. And they have no anointing. That's right. That's hallelujah. Go and take off. That's it. That's what makes the truth of God so different from everything. That's right. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. That's it. That's bringing men, women, boys, and girls of every race, yeah. of every creed. Oh, you yeah. will learn more from this program and all the years you've been going to anybody's church. That's right. Come out of your churches. Come out. Come out of the PAW. Leave the PAW. Yeah. Leave the UPC. Oh, yeah. Leave the Church of God in Christ. Leave the so-called churches of the Lord Jesus Christ. Leave them. Leave them. 
Leave the house of prayer for all heathens. Leave them. That's right. You that's wish up the so-called sweet daddy belly. Amen. Daddy belly is no more sweet than a skunk. That's right. He gonna realize when he hit hell. And buddy, what a splashdown. What a splashdown. My Lord. You that don't know what that false church is, it's called the House of Prayer for All People, founded by Bishop C.M. Grace. Yeah. That was before many of you young people time. They called him Sweet Daddy Grace. Yeah. He said he was the reincarnation of Jesus. His hair came past his shoulders and he let his nails grow one, two, three inches long until they twist and they called themselves apostolic. Right. That's right. And uh, they took all the songs that had the name Jesus out yeah. and replaced it with Sweet Daddy. Sweet Daddy. So besides saying in mine, 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 Lord Jesus is mine. They say mine, 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 sweet daddy is mine. Yeah. Mine when I'm weary, mine when I'm dreary. <laughs> Going to hell for that. That's right. You know, these men who make themselves God and make themselves the savior, you're going to have a surprise mm. when you stand before Jesus himself. Oh, yes. And the books will be open because he keep record on He's everything. record. Everything God tore down, oh, yeah. we're going to let it remain torn down. That's it. Amen. That's right. That's right. And for any preacher to preach in the truth of God, you better not build up one thing. That's right. I don't care who you are. Yeah. If you think you're so close to me that I won't take the Bible and kill you, you thought wrong. <laughs> Amen. Absolutely. Amen. I'm a God sent mercenary. Yes, you are. Camouflage with Bible. <laughs> That's right. Amen. I got the scope of the scriptures looking at you. That's right. The moment you build up something, that it's going to be shot. Holy. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. I, when I say I don't care who you are, I mean it. Yes, you do. I'm not that close to absolutely nobody. 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 That includes me, Pastor. And me and Williams is close. Oh, yeah. But not that close. That's right. I had one minister pull me aside and say, Pastor Janice, because I hear him say that over the air. He said, do you think you should say that? Because some of the people may think it's confusion amongst the ministers. I said, I don't care what the people think. <laughs> I'm going right. to speak the truth. That's right. Hey, man, I'm going to speak the truth. That's it. Hey, Amen. When you stand for the truth, that got everybody. everybody. Ain't nobody exempted. No. What I, it is written, what I say to one, I say to, say all. to all. That's right. That's, That's right. why the sinner respect us so. Yeah. And coming off the streets of America, and they don't want to come to these little cheese doodle preachers. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Little That's cheese right. doodle preachers. That's right. Don't stand for nothing. Stand Ain't for got nothing. no solid, no board in their back. No. It's no. out to make a name for themselves and ride off the coattail of the truth of God. That's right. So glad we ain't got to ride off nobody coattail. We ride off the name of the Lord Jesus. That's it. That's what's been working for us. Oh, yes. That's been working for us since day one. Amen. Glory to God. For if I build again the things which I destroyed. Hear what I'm telling you. Amen. Everything the Bible tore down, leave it down. Leave it down. Bible tore down all them glasses and says the cup of the Lord. The cup is in the Lord's hand. In the Lord's hand. And the wine and the red, we're going to keep one cup there. That's it. One. That's it. We're going to keep it just like the Bible have it. That's it. We ain't going to substitute what's in the cup for orange juice, grape juice, and ginger ale. No. No way. The cup is in the Lord's hand wine. and the wine. It's red. No need for nobody to come to me tomorrow. Some of the Lord showed them something to tell me. I hear you. <laughs> on before mine, my ears will get dull. You'll be just like the teacher on Charlie Brown. Nobody never understood what she said. That's right. Remember the old Charlie Brown cartoon? All you heard was wah, 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 wah. When it comes to the Bible, that's the way you sound to me. That's wah, right. wah, 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 wah. Amen. That's right. And I had people come to me with some old prophecy. Oh, yes. 
I take all prophecy and compare it with the Bible. You can go in some tongue. You can shake. Your eyes can roll back like someone shooting dice. Come on. Seven. And your eyes go back like snake eyes. <laughs> That's right. When the smoke clear. That's right. I'm coming back to the Bible. Back to the Bible. That's wonderful, brother. That's wonderful. I done came up around that trash. Oh, yeah. I'm able to distinguish when prophecies is of God and when it's from hell. <laughs> That's right. Amen. So when you don't have no conscience, you are lying on God. Like the one false right. prophet said that the Lord showed him that I was in a white Cadillac limousine with about seven to eight homosexuals. My Lord. Brother, that's some deep hate, man. That's some deep hate. Why would I be in a white Cadillac? I don't, I don't even like white cars. That's right. And, I, and brothers that know me know I can't stand limousines. Nope. I can't stand them. Amen. Why don't you ask the Lord to show you I was in a 1931 Pierce Arrow <laughs> with two wheels on the side with solid steel chrome oh, and man. a running board on the side. Amen. So I can stand on that running board and throw some Bible in your church. That's right. God ain't told nobody I was in a white Cadillac with about seven to eight faggots. No. Never. Never. Never will. You know, when you start lying, many times you can't stop. That's right. Because you got a spirit in you. That's right. And they will make it so bad you get dumb folk. Amen, amen. That's right. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Amen. Am I right, I said? That's right. All that stuff don't phase me, jerking it around like you's a barbecue chicken. <laughs> That's right. yeah, that doesn't. stuff doing the yuck. <laughs> doing the yuck, I said. That's right. <laughs> Glory. To the Father. <laughs> Stop oh, all that yucking. Stop all that. That's right. Remember that, the yuck. <laughs> That's what we used to call it when I was a kid. So all that stuff don't phase me. When I came out of falsehood, family, the false prophet I was under, I told him what the Lord showed me, this work. He got in some spirit trying to intimidate me, yelling, beating all on the desk. The Lord ain't told you nothing. He said, if I don't raise my hands over you and bless you, nobody ain't going to follow you. Yep. He said, where is this work going to start at? He said, I said, I don't know. He said, you see that? God ain't never told nobody go nowhere. And they didn't know they were going. I said, he told Abraham. Oh, Abraham. He told Abraham, the Bible plainly says, Abraham didn't know where he was going. But he moved in faith and moved in fear. Isn't it beautiful to be in something that is of God? Amen. You ain't got to make up nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. People want to mimic this truth of God thing so bad. Yes, they do. They want to mimic the truth of God. They want to mimic my calling and everything. Yeah. And they're trying so I don't understand it. I mean, Hey man, it's called, I call it jealous admiration. Yeah. That got to be a really bad emotional yeah. dilemma. Oh, yes. You jealous of a person and you admire them. That's right. Amen. That's right. But we are focused with Bible. With the Bible. And being focused with Bible, we are telling the world, come back to Bible. So we're not going to build up nothing that the Bible destroyed. Nothing. Nothing. Amen. Amen. When I see something even look like it's slipping in. I'm getting on it. That's right. I don't care who get offended in the process. That's right. I'm going after it with Bible after because it. we're going to keep holiness. Holy. 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 Bible said that the woman have her head covered. And when I see any woman coming in with this, there ain't no having your head covered. No. Like you got a cheeseburger on your head. <laughs> a little apple pie. An apple pie. A little dumpling. That's right. Amen. When I see brothers want to put a handkerchief in their pocket, oh, what's that for? What, what is that for? You don't need that up there. Get that out with a dawning out. Get it out. That's right. 
Use your handkerchief to wipe your face and wipe your chapped lips. That's right. Don't need all that. No. Don't need no tie pins on and collar pins. What for? What for? That's right. Let's be the way God made you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What? For if I build again the things which I destroy. Come on back. I make myself a transgressor. We're going to keep holding this holy. Keep it holy. Keep it holy. Amen. I'm up on my tower like the prophet watching. Oh, yes, you are. Seeing what he going to say unto me. That's right. Amen. That's right. Whoever get offended, that's your problem. You will never give me apologize from the Bible. For what? No. Because you too weak and shallow. Oh, Jennings, I, look, I ain't coming back unless you change. Bye. <laughs> well, see, they ain't love. You call it what you want. What you want. Anytime you got to beg a person to stay, it's like a wind-up toy. When you got to wind that toy up, that toy ain't going to walk around long. No. It's going to soon slow down. Yeah. If you're not here because of the word of God, like my brother said, I know when he stand practicing, most of the time, what's he going to say? <laughs> the word brought me here. He shoot it up. The word brought me here. <laughs> when he close them eyes, he's gone. Don't no. bother. He started rocking back and forth. It was the word. It brought me here. <laughs> if you ain't here for that, you're here for the wrong thing. That's right. I don't have nothing else to offer you. That's right. But what's in that word? This ain't no money racketeering. This ain't no scam. This ain't no bamboozling. No. It ain't none of that junk that God will bless you based upon how much money you give. That trash ain't welcome here. No. I don't care if you're poor. God still can bless you. That's right. That's right. What you own don't impress God. No. Because whatever you have, God have more than you. Oh, yes. Including he possess oh. you. Oh, yes. Glory so take God until the Lord said all souls are mine. Acts 2, 38. Come on, Williams. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Amen. San Antonio, Texas. Time for you to get on God's side. That's right. I'm going to wrestle your long horns to the Bible. That's it. Repent for the wicked life you're living. Amen. Out there drinking and partying, smoking and wearing your mini skirts and wearing Walgreen hair and CVS eyelashes. Amen. And the neighborhood corner store fingernails. Yeah. Bible will clean all that nail polish off your toes. Oh, it don't yeah. make your feet smell better. That's right. If you think it make your feet look better, uh-uh. You're sadly mistaken. That's Be right. the way God made you. Yeah. Stop cutting your hair off your eyebrows and replacing it with pencils. Oh, yes. Get that rouge off your face. You know you ain't no clown. That's right. Get it off your face. That's right. You men, get the ponytail off your head. Yeah. Don't you know it's a shame well, to have long, long hair? hair? The Bible says. Do it not even nature itself teach you? Do it you? not nature teach you? That if a man, if have, a long man hair, have long hair. It is a shame. It's embarrassing. Unto him. Shame. Shame. When I was a kid, I used to watch Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck would say, it's embarrassing. <laughs> That's right. It's embarrassing. <laughs> That's right. You walk around with your long hair long flopping around. Hair. Get that stuff cut like the Bible says. That's right. When I look at you, I should know it's not your sister. Yeah. yeah. My right, I said. Oh, yes. I don't blame you. You don't know no better, but I'm going to tell it. Tell it. I'm going to tell it, and That's I feel right. good telling it. That's right. Then Peter. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, repent of your sin. You a sinner. You know you are. Oh, yeah. You a sinner. You're living an unwicked, ungodly life. Wicked? Wicked. You know you are smoking on your way here. Chewing your tobacco, spitting your snuff. That's right. Amen. Sinner. Sinner. All in a Texas bar room, drinking your beer and whiskey, talking to Joe behind the counter. That's right. Joe tell you, look, Mr. Barney, you need to go home. I ain't got 
Oh, give me another shot. Mr. Bar oh, Mr. Barney, give me another shot. <laughs> Your wife, you did come. Oh, my wife, give me Amen. You can't drink your sorrows away. No. Don't you know God Almighty was manifested in the flesh? Yeah. And he was in a body, and the body was called the Son of God, the Savior. The Savior. And Jesus Christ was here. That's right. He left a perfect example of how you should live, and how you should conduct yourself. Oh, yes. Go on to church on a Sunday or on a Saturday, don't appease God. No. God wants obedience. That's right. And for you to obey him, you got to make it up in your mind to change. And change start with a repentant heart. That's it. You got remorse for being out there like a wild fool. And the only reason why you're still living is because of God's mercy. That's it. That's it. That's it. That ain't because you're such a good man or a good woman. It is God's mercy. Amen. Repent of your sins. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. How much? Every one of you. If the whole state of Texas got this to obey, That's you right. can attach the rest of the world to it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. To get your sins washed away. And what? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy That's Ghost. That's how you're born again. That's the new birth. That's it. When he told Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except the man is born of the water, and of the spirit. He cannot enter in when you're born of the water is when you're baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. When you're born of the spirit is when you're filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues as the spirit of the living God give the utterance. Not go to some church and a preacher say, when I count to three, you speak in tongues. One, two, three. And it sounds like a bunch of ducks and turkeys and chickens. <laughs> That's right. That ain't the Holy Ghost. That's no. foolishness. That's foolishness. Anybody want to be right and don't want to burn in hell Hallelujah. and want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ the right way? Stand on your feet today. Hallelujah. Austin, stand on your feet. Glory to God. Wonderful. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. Hallelujah. Do you see the power of the message? Wonderful. 45 was baptized last night, and we got a good drag net this afternoon. Amen. Everybody might as well prepare to obey God and come out That's right. of your churches. I'm out of them. When you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, don't go back to your church ever again as long as you live. That's right. Because the Lord our God says, be holy. Be holy. Anytime you're going to be baptized, then go right back to your false church. You're going to go to hell as if you never was That's baptized right. since you've been born. That's right. All right. Who gave me the correct time? All right, 303. We're going to let you go. Come on back at 5 o'clock. Prayer began. Come on back. Hit your knees and cry out to the boss. Amen. And they ain't me. The Lord is the boss. Oh, yeah. Let us all stand. And Brother Amen. Minister Went will close us out in prayer. Bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. We thank you so much, O oh God, for the word today. Lord God, let us know that we can build up the things that we have destroyed. But as you have called us out of darkness, God, help us to remain in the light. Forgive us for our sins, O oh God. As we stand, O oh God Almighty, we look at ourselves and judge ourselves according to your word. My God, I pray that, Lord God, you'll continue to strengthen your preacher. My God, strengthen him that he may continue to preach the word in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that go down in water in the name of the Lord Jesus, fill them with the Holy Ghost. Send your power from heaven, God, and baptize them with spirit and fire. My God, we thank you for all that you have done, all you continue to do. Whatever we fail from us, Lord Jesus Christ, and our faith to unto us. As we pray, we say thanks, Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody say.